Well, my name's uh, Simon Hume, and I'm the GI GIS officer at Daventry District Council, uh, which is a rural district in Northamptonshire in the Midlands. Um, and I'm also the local land and property gas tier custodian. Um, as a GIS officer, I maintain our uh, GIS software, which is MapInfo, uh, but we also run QGIS in the authority. And I also maintain all of our spatial data, which we receive under the Public Sector Mapping Agreement, Ordnance Survey, and I also maintain our LLPG data because I'm the custodian. And I also get data in and provide it to other people as well. So. My main data challenge is to process the data so I can use it successfully and also make it available for other people to use or to provide the data onwards to other organisations such as GeoPlace so for the LLPG. As a local authority we have a, a lot of development at the moment. Uh, we currently have over 1,600 new build properties which are in the process of being built or the permission has been given and they will be start to be built in the next few months. So, and as a result of that, there's a lot of new entries into the council tax system so we can build people. And when they're in the council tax system, the reference from that has to be held in the LLPG so that so we meet our obligations for the gazetteer. And the problem we've had is actually extracting that data and putting it into my gazetteer software which is always a manual process because I can't import it automa automatically but FME has given me that option to extract the records which have already been done which just leaves the ones that haven't been done which is the ones I can concentrate on. Uh, up to up to about six months ago I was always doing that through map info just using a map basic script but now I use FME to, to undertake that process and what would take about five to ten minutes in map info now takes about 30 seconds in FME so and if I that's once a week at least for council tax plus once a month so I was saving probably a couple of hours a month just on that one just on that one process the main benefits for me of using FME are the speed cutting down the time that I do to translate or convert data. Um, the reliability of it, it's a lot more reliable using it on a standalone basis than it is within MapInfo. And also the quality that it does as well. I can be very specific about what I want to extract and uh, I know that FME will actually follow that through, whereas that's not always been the case in the past with when I've done it through other methods. So. My only regret about FME is that I didn't have it, that I didn't purchase it earlier. If I'd have had it five years ago, who knows where I would have been with it. So, but it's going to be a good journey. So.